okay so I think I've shared most everything in my tiny converted camper um, a tiny home uh, this is the table folded out so when I eat I can sit on my little chair and I have a beautiful very lightweight table and I wanted to show you how this lid comes up There's a little hole and I've got space under there for my um, tool kit and um, I've got the this basket here but behind on the other side of the basket is where I keep um, a water tank which is outside right now and that's what I use to fill up my larger water tank which is under the uh, counter um, which I showed earlier the 16 gallon tank um, but I'll step outside and show you where I fill up the water and I also have a little more storage in the front on the tongue of the camper um, and the camper itself weighs about 2,000 pounds um, I was trying to be very careful about not adding too much weight um, because I wanted to be able to tow it uh, with my Subaru which I bought recently it's a 2014 Subaru Forester um, I didn't want to have to buy a big truck and I wanted to have good gas mileage when I wasn't hitched to the camper so I had to keep you know I had to keep everything really light um, I did add weight by converting it um, and uh, you know because I'm using you know with the tile and you know a lot of the f um, the features were heavier than the original you know um, camper um, you know the materials they were they used were a lot lighter and just flimsier um, but I didn't add too much more weight and I think it's worth it for the the look and the feel you know that I have now um, it definitely feels more like a little house than a camper um, and I wanted to also just add that um, like I said earlier I started it myself um, I did the tiny house workshop and and then I you know I bought the camper um, and started working on it myself I gutted the whole thing which was really satisfying to take everything out and I built the bed um, bed frame and the chair and the little table over here myself and then I um, you know sanded the walls and painted myself and uh, painted the outside um, and which was you know a lot of work very tedious work um, and I had you know a lot of the ideas and the vision but I didn't have a lot of the skills um, and I was able to hire someone a handyman who uh, who was also just really invested in in the project because he wanted to do a, t a tiny house himself so um, he put a lot of his own sort of um, artistry into it and it was really fun to collaborate and um, uh, you know work with someone who you know was willing to uh, charge <laughs> you know a lot less than what it would normally be uh, because he was so um, you know excited about what I was doing and my vision um, so I was really lucky that way but so I wanted to just you know acknowledge that I did have help um, but you know the design you know the vision um, is mine and um, and a lot of the you know the beginning stages of the work in the camper was mine which is really fulfilling I think to put you know actually like blood sweat and tears into it you know I did a lot of the um, the uh, you know the roof I had to make sure it was not leaking so I um, you know put sealant on the roof which was a lot of work and I had to scrape off the old stuff and put new stuff on and I'll you know um, tag some uh, or post some pictures of some of the process um, it's on my Facebook to uh, Wildcat Sisters Heart Sick Boutique uh, if you just look uh, up Wildcat Sister you can find my Facebook page and there's a, an album that shows um, the process of this of the camper um, from the beginning when I first bought it to you know now where it's actually a functional home 
Um, but yes, I wanted to give credit to um, Andrew Martinson who um, did a lot of the carpentry and did the, um, you know, the electrical, the battery, solar, um, a lot of that I didn't really have a lot of knowledge in. He was able to help me with and also the water system. Um, just very excited because I just recently left Vermont and um, I started the boutique in Vermont at my friend's thrift shop, Battery Street Jeans. And um, when the camper was done, um, I got on the road with my boutique and I traveled down the East Coast and um, stopping at campgrounds and friends along the way. And then I ended up in Santa Fe because I lived here years ago and I have friends here. So I'm just, you know, feel really lucky because I'm able to stay with friends um, while it's still a little bit cold and, um, you know, sp spread things out so I can organize my boutique and get that going here in Santa Fe. And I've been setting up at a, a really amazing restaurant um, called Cafe Fina off of Old Las Vegas Highway. And I'm looking for places downtown and other um, places that would be willing to have me set up. I, um, you know, I have a mission for my business, which is to um, uh, so, uh, protect wildlife, empower women, um, support youth in the arts, uh, promote community, um, you know, community living, and um, worship cats. <laughs> um, because I really believe that, you know, for me, cats have been a really powerful um, uh, support in my life. They've um, really helped me connect with myself, to remember to really take care of myself, to have fun, to play, to, you know, um, have time for self-reflection. And they've just been, you know, these amazing loyal friends um, in my life. And so I really wanted to honor the cats in my life um, by, you know, naming the business and, you know, this whole idea sort of is inspired by that relationship with my cats over the years um, and right now sadly I don't have I don't have my own cats um, but I always meet cats along the way and um, it's sort of just the again the um, they are they're with me in spirit you know in this whole journey this whole venture but the idea is to partner with organizations um, like nonprofits that are you know reflecting the mission statement which you know like I said to um, support the arts empower women and girls um, protect wildlife uh, promote sustainable community um, and um, you know just animals in general you know if there's uh, an organization that is protecting animals or the humane society that's you know helping you know domestic animals find homes I would love to partner um, do my sales and help to fundraise uh, money for these organizations um, I uh, <sighs> there's a lot to say but um, but that's the idea so it's more than a boutique you know in my boutique I sell vintage um, I sell international folk art um, used folk art um, handmade items. I'm hoping to collect more uh, local artists. You know, it's really fun to find these um, treasures, you know, on my travels and to bring them all into one place. Um, they have a very whimsical and very uplifting theme and that's the idea is that we're at a time where I think there's a lot of heart sickness in general and I just want to um, you know be a voice a positive and uplifting and um, and share my story which um, I think is uh, you know just can be inspiring for others who are looking to have more freedom in their lives and do you know things that they love and follow their passions um, and so I hope that what I'm doing um, I mean it's helping me you know feel more authentic in my own life and um i'm hoping to spread that you know authenticity and that joy and that fun um to people um on my journey and in my boutique so thank you for watching and um again i'll link to my uh, pictures i'll link to um 
the my friend uh, Tyler's uh, tiny home on Airbnb and if you're interested in buying a tiny home he has he builds them for sale as well and lastly just want to show that I have some storage out here this is where I keep you know um, paint cans and my jack um, propane you know some propane containers um, and this little dude right here this little cat he's the mascot for my business um, it was given to me by a restaurant owner um, a little cafe in Vermont in Burlington and I was telling him about my business idea and he went back into storage into his storage and took out this cat and brought it to me and said that an artist had made it years and years ago and left it there and um, he gave it to me as a gift and what's really cool you know, this is my funnel oh this is what I was going to show you too this is where I have my um, where I can um, pour the water into my tank and here's the container that I use to pour and it also hooks up to um, hose to city water if I ever want to use that but what's really cool about the cat is you turn it around and it's got <laughs> the darker side to it which is another um, theme of my uh, business and sort of the vision I have is that you know there's always this duality in life and I think the more we embrace this duality our sort of darker side our shadow side the more we can integrate into more uh, just a more whole and uh, full human beings and I just want to show off the the whole rig connected you've got my camper with my bike my storage my little cat over the tires my Subaru I've got storage on top I have a carrier for my camping gear I keep a lot of my boutique items in my car we've got the beautiful river in the background Tyler's teepee his tiny home Again, it's for uh, rent on Airbnb. You look up, I think it's Big River Tiny House, or I think it might be the opposite, Tiny House Big River on Airbnb in Pilar, New Mexico. And he also builds these with his partner for a very amazing price if you want your own tiny home.